Hello, and welcome to a new episode of NSP East Committee Corner. I'm your host, Margaret Edwards, and this week, we're going to take another look at House procedure, but, you know, and how the legislative process plays out. But today, we're going to take a deep dive into a procedural tool called suspension of the rules. So let's just get started. Um, if you remember, we have already started this conversation around the legislative process here in the committee corner. Um, last year, we you know, looked at the legislative process step by step um, and kind of debunked the Schoolhouse Rock video, of I'm just a bill. Um, <clears throat> so we have that, you know, one of, and one of the steps is house floor consideration within the legislative process. And in this tool that we're gonna talk about today, which is called the suspension of the rules, um, is, is one way that legislation can be brought to the floor of the House of Representatives and, and a way that it can be voted on. Um, so, so really all this does, it's, a, it's an expedited process. Um, it can move a lot quicker. Um, and under suspension of the rules, it completely skips over the rules committee. Um, we just suspend the rules and pass is, is the motion that, that is made by um, the member on the House floor. Um, so just, you know, we're just going to run through some, you know, key elements of um, the suspension of, of passing bills or pieces of legislation by suspension of the rules today. Um, so all of this information first is from a Congressional Research Service report um, titled Suspension of the Rules, Principal Features. Um, so some key features of, of suspension of the rules in the House. Uh, the first is that the speaker controls the use of this procedure. Um, it doesn't have to be like the Speaker of the House, but it's whoever is the presiding officer that day. Um, and so they control um, whether or not a bill can be moved um, or passed under suspension of the rules. Um, suspension motions are in order only on particular days of the week or the congressional session. Um, this is not a tool that um, is able to be used all of the time. Um, and it's able to be used particularly on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays, and during the final days of the annual congressional session. So at the end of the calendar year, it can also be used regardless of what day it is. Um, there are only 40 minutes of debate on a suspension motion in the bill. Um, so a you know member, if we're leading the floor debate, we only get 40 minutes, and that's you know typically divided between um, the majority and minority party on the floor. Um, so it, it limits the, you know, debate, it limits, um, you know, also it limits the amendment process. Um, no floor amendments can be made under its suspension of the rules from the floor. Um, those are out of order and are not allowed to be done. Um, and the key thing about suspension of the rules, um, you know, most legislation in the House of Representatives, um, as we know, only requires a simple majority to pass. Um, but under suspension of the rules, um, two thirds vote of the House is required to pass a bill under suspension of the rules. And it's two thirds of those who are present and voting. Of course, it requires that a quorum be present. Um, but if there are you know, just a minimum quorum of, of uh, members of Congress on the floor and you know, two thirds vote are present and you know, two thirds are present, you know, Two thirds of those present and voting uh, vote yes on a piece of legislation. Um, the bill passes under suspension of the rules. Um, individual members do have the opportunity to provide or to ask for a roll call vote. And in that roll call vote, um, two thirds of, of the House will be required to vote. Um, and you know, leadership, um, floor leadership can also um, postpone actually having those roll call votes on, on the bills. Um, if you follow the House of Representatives as closely as I tend to do, um, you'll see, you know, Mondays or the first day of the weeks of that week's session schedule, um, there's a huge list of suspension of the rules. Um, and if a roll call vote is, is called, it might be moved to the next day, depending on, on what time um, is available and left in that day. Um, and also, there's only a single vote on suspending the rules and passing the bill. Um, if we remember back to the time that we discussed the Rules Committee in the Committee Corner, um, there is both a vote on the passage of the rule and how the bill will move through, uh, through the floor and be considered. And then there's the vote on final passage. Under suspension of the rules, that is done in one go, only one vote, 
And um, that is how, how that happens. Of course, there are other key features. Um, if this is a you know procedural thing that interests you, go and check out um, the rest of the, the Congressional Research Service report and, and even just watch, you know, C-SPAN on you know Mondays or Tuesdays and, and really see how suspension of the rule plays out as a, as a procedural tool. Um, so with that, that concludes this episode of NSPE's Committee Corner. Um, just a quick scheduling note, um, we, we might not be moving um, at, at the same you know, regular or expected you know, every other week when Congress is out of session, every week whenever, um, whenever they are in session. Um, and that is because this is my final episode of NSPE's Committee Corner that I'm recording. Um, I have enjoyed uh, you know, sharing things about Congress, pulling back that curtain, you know, fluing and, and bringing the conversation that's happening on, on Capitol Hill to you, our NSPE members, and, and sharing with you uh, ways that the conversations happening on Capitol Hill relate to the work that you're doing and the issues that we care about at NSPE. Um, and, and once again, you can find NSPE's Committee Corner in the NSPE Advocacy Center or on the NSPE YouTube page. Thank you.